Data protection and digital adoption, always a, a favorite topic uh, nowadays and, and obviously very, very important. I think there's a lot of attention to um, data protection, data privacy. So how do you deal with that with digital adoption when you're really um, tracking the user, um, giving him help uh, within the application, even proactively giving him help? Um, so how do you deal with data protection in, in the digital adoption space? So there I think it's important to quite early in the discussions, talk with your digital adoption uh, software vendor and make sure that data privacy is properly tracked. Make sure that uh, on one side, uh, the software is hosted in, uh, in a data center in the region that is applicable to you. Uh, make sure that the, the software can be configured in, in a flexible way that data protection is covered. Uh, you could ask things like, is it uh, possible to uh, scramble individual users? Uh, you still want to track individual users and what they are doing in the application. So you're able to efficiently support them. But on the other hand, from a data privacy, data protection point of view, you don't need to know who exactly is that user. So you could perfectly ask your software vendor, uh, can you scramble the, the user IDs or the usernames? And then you can deliver the value of digital adoption without exactly knowing who it is. So these are typical ways where, where you can look at, uh, at digital adoption. Most of the, the digital adoption tools also use browser extensions. Uh, for displaying the, um, uh, the on-screen guidance and the on-screen help. So uh, ask questions like, how is the browser extension uh, deployed? How is the browser extension configurable? How can we make sure it's only tracking the users on the application that we are actually implementing the digital adoption solution on? So these are questions to, to ask to your software vendor. Um, and I would always say do that relatively early, especially if you're not from an IT background. Um, start that process early, initiate those discussions because with most companies sooner or later, uh, a data privacy officer or an IT security officer needs to be involved. So really start these discussions on time to make sure that it doesn't become a roadblock um, further down, uh, down the line. If you want to know more about data protection, data privacy and digital adoption, just let me know and I'm happy to have a chat.